गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग टेल्स फॉर जून 29 2019 सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सच एज विच स्टेशन हैज बिकम द बेस्ट पुलिस स्टेशन इन इंडिया अकॉर्डिंग टू मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स एज वेल एज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट इंडियन फिल्म टू गेट अ मेजर अवार्ड एट शंघाई इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल अलॉन्ग विद इट वी विल ऑल्सो बी डिस्कवरिंग अबाउट द माल न्यूट्रिशन लेवल्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड इंडिया टारगेट टू टैकल दो माल न्यूट्रिशन लेवल्स सो लेट्स बिगिन आर जर्नी फॉर टूडे विद दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट is who will head the new committee formed to increase cooperation between petroleum and environment ministry so there are five options rajnath singh amit shah pk sinha nitin gadkari jitendra singh so out of these five options it is pk sinha who has been appointed as the head of this new committee so now what is the purpose behind forming this new committee first purpose is evident from the question it says that it is to increase cooperation between petroleum ministry and environment ministry as well as the state government so now the very important question which arises here is that what was the need to form a committee in order to increase coordination between two ministries so the answer to that question is that recently the environmental ministry has objected to the projects of hydrocarbon exploration so in order to tackle those issues only and increase the uh, speed of hydrocarbon exploration related clearances this committee has been formed now what is hydrocarbon as the name itself is suggesting that hydrocarbon is a compound of hydrogen and carbon and it is is a very important component in the formation of petroleum so that is why this hydrocarbon is very important for petroleum ministry and this hydrocarbon exploration has created a bone of contention between petroleum and environment ministry so remember this thing that pk sina is the head of this committee so let's move on to the next question which state has the highest number of stunted children below 5 years according to national food and nutrition security analysis 2019 report so before For answering this question, let us discuss important aspects of this report. So, first of all, this report is released by UN, that is United Nations World Food Program, along with contribution from Ministry of Statistics. And what are the major findings of this report? So, this report mentions that by the year 2022, India will have around 31.4 percent of stunted children. This is a very huge number, guys. Why? The reason is that this number is huge. because india has set up a target to reduce the malnutrition levels in children to 25% by the year 2022 so in this scenario this latest findings of the report have become very important because now it has become a major challenge for india to cope up the difference between the existing malnutrition levels and the target so now coming back to the question which state has the highest number of stunted children below 5 years so the answer to that question is bihar bihar has 48% of stunted children and this is the highest percentage among states so the other significant uh, finding of this report is that india has so far reduced the malnutrition levels in children by 1% annually in the last 10 years now this is the lowest rate among the emerging countries so according to this report india has to double its progress pace in order to cover up the 25% target by 2022 and reduce its malnutrition levels in children now let's move on to the next question which Which police station has topped the Ministry of Home Affairs ranking of best police station? So basically, this ranking is based on the performance of police stations in the year 2018, and this report has found out that Kalu Police Station has been the best police station in terms of its performance. Now, where is this Kalu Police Station located? So it is located in the Bikaner district of Rajasthan. Now, some more facts about this ranking. So this ranking, first of all, assessed. A around 15666 police stations across the country and secondly this ranking has judged the police station on the parameters of crime against scst women and also the property related issues and also among these parameters a 20% weightage has also been given to the infrastructure of the police station so 
now which police station is the second best police station in India? So it is the Campbell Bay Nicobar Police Station in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. And which police station is the third best police station? It is the Faraka Police Station in Murshidabad district of West Bengal. Now apart from this, the question for you people is that who is the Minister of Union Home Ministry? So now let's move further with the next question that is what is the name of the first S2B robot launched by NASA? There are five options. So out of these five options, it is option A that is Bumble is the right answer and this Bumble is the first S2B robot launched by NASA to the ISS. ISS is International Space Station and NASA had launched the Bumble and Honey S2B robots in April this year only. Now why is this Bumble in news so much? This is because this Bumble has become the first ever S2B robot to fly with its own power. That is why this Bumble is so much in the news nowadays. Apart from this fact, other important fact about S2B robot is the purpose behind forming the S2B ro robot. So this S2B robot is a free flying robot system that will help the researchers at ISS in their research. So Bumble was the first, Honey was the second and the third in this series is Queen and this Queen is scheduled to be launched in July. This type of question forms the static part of the general awareness. So do remember this question and let's move on to the next question now. Which Indian film has won the Outstanding Artistic Achievement Award at the 22nd Shanghai Film Festival? So first of all, the answer to this question is option E that is Vail Marangal. Now guys, please forgive me if I have pronounced this name wrongly because it is a Malayali film. So now this movie which means Trees Under the Sun has become the first Indian movie to win a major award at Shanghai Film Festival. Quite important, right? Because questions such as these are very common in the examination. So do remember this thing that the Indian film or the first ever Indian film to win a major award in Shanghai Film Festival is Vail Marangal, which is a Malayali film. Now the question ar arises here is that who is the director of this film? So I am leaving that question for you guys. Do mention your answers in the comment section below that who is the director of this film because the other way around that the question can be asked from this information is the director. Who among the following has become the 63rd Grand Master of India in chess? So before answering this question, let us discuss about this Grand Master title. So this Grand Master title is the highest honor given to a chess player by the World Chess Federation which is also known as FIDE. So FIDE confers this honor to the chess players for playing marvelously and this is the highest honor given to a chess player by World Chess Federation. So now this title of Grand Master has been conferred upon Girish A. Kaushik and with this achievement Girish A. Kaushik has become India's 63rd player to become a Grand Master of Chess. Apart from this another interesting fact about Girish A. Kaushik is that he is the third Grand Master from Karnataka. So the other two uh, Grand Masters from Karnataka are first is MS Tej Kumar and second is GA Stanning. So these were the two Grand Masters from Karnataka and now this third Grand Master also hails from Karnataka. So now the question for you guys is that where is the headquarters of fight? Because this is a static question. So do mention your answers in the comment section below that where is the headquarters of fight? Now let's move on to the last question of today that is who is the CEO of Niti Aayog? Now guys this is the question for you. So do mention your answers in the comment section below. But right now you all must be thinking that where has this question come from? So this CEO of Niti Aayog is in the news because the existing CEO has got a two years extension in the office. So not a very difficult question to answer. So do mention your answers in the comment section below that who is the CEO of Niti Aayog and remember that that this that this person or the existing CEO has got a two years extension. 
टिल जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन थैंक यू सो मच गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग आर वीडियो एंड इफ़ यू हैव लर्न एनी थिंग फ्राम द वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर ऑल द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशंस